ओम ओम अखंड मंडलाकार चराचर तत्पम दर्शित परमानंद सदु ओम गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरुदेव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरुव नम बाई द ग्रेस ऑफ यूनिवर्सल मास्टर सचिदानंद परमात्मा द ओमनी प्रेजेंस ओमनी पोर्टेंट एंड only knower, knower of this world and only consciousness of this world we are taking the stanza 30 of chapter 3 shrimad bhagavat gita the krishna is telling to the arjuna mai sarvani कर्माणि सन्यास्यध्यायात्मचेतसा निराशीर निर्ममो भूत्वा युद्धस्व विगत ज्वर मयि सर्वाणि कर्माणि सन्यस्य अध्यात्मचेतसा निराशी निर्मम भूत्वा युद्ध स्व विगत ज्वर मई इन मी सर्वाणी कंप्लीट कर्माणी द कर्मास एक्टिविटीज एक्शंस सन्यस्य इट मींस डिवोट इन मी गिव मी आध्यात्मा इट मींस आई एम लिविंग inside of you as an in existence chetasaha by the full attention of your mood nirashi never expect anything nirmamaha without any possessiveness abhutva being yuddhasva fight in this battle bigata jora without any type of sorrow and regret my dear arjun you must surrender all your karmas to me which is i am living inside of you as an existence and put all the attention all the mood all the flowing only towards me and then you do all the karmas and surrender all karmas in me and then when you surrender all karmas me there will no do not have any hope or any return by the karmas do the karmas without any possessiveness then you will see you will not get get sorrow you will not get any regret and you will be fight like this that sadguru sachidananda parmatma the master of billions uncountable galaxies and billions universes he is telling to arjuna the direct teaching if without any type of example or without any type of description 
He is giving the order. He is giving the directives. He is teaching the art of the living. How to fight in this illusion, in an illusionary world. The, the Krishna is telling to Arjuna, Arjun, now you barely understand that the Guna Vibhaga and the Karma Vibhaga the department of the three gunas and department of all action and activities they are all responsible for every movement of the maya so that these are conspiracy of the maya these are only misguided guidance of the maya or this are this is only a misunderstanding of you that you are doing so you are not doing so now you must not have the possessiveness now you must not have the pentasm now you have not have the attachment because that work not performing by you that all work is performing by the guna vibhaga and karma vibhaga and that is nature and that is maya but until you are not enlightened, this bodily this intellectually solution, you will not you will not get in effect because when you are not enlightened, the Maya will see you like a true. The Guna Vibhaga and Karma Vibhaga that is only and only in bookish knowledge in your mind that is not applied knowledge in you. So I told again and again the solution of intellect and solution of buds and solution or of your mind that is no mean in this path that may be only this that you can clarify the fundamental and you can do the journey exactly they, they will only help it but before enlightenment you cannot come out from maya you cannot come out from illusion you cannot come out from possessiveness and you cannot detach completely so my dear Arjun before the enlightenment these things cannot affect you so I am giving you a solution I am giving you a method you use this method I am standing in front of you in the form of the Sadhguru when you will know your own soul then I will also will see you in inside of you as your existence but if you are not enlightened you cannot see me so indirectly or directly i am only your existence i am only your atma i am only your consciousness i am only your extract but you do not know this time exactly because you are living in the mind, intellect, mood and ego. So what you do? You put your mind, intellect, mood and ego in me. And in this way, you follow my orders, you follow my instructions. You follow my directives. And as, as you do, as you do as that is your duty not for you but for me so you do all the functions duties for me for Sadhguru because on the level of intellect you understand that these karmas is the false illusion of the Maya and if you Gradually, 
will be aware in the sakshi meditation then after you can know yourself that that was the false and illusion of the maya but when you not reach in the peak of your knowing in the enlightenment or in the awakeness you do not leave the work you do not leave the karma you do not leave the duties you do all the duties but their result do not desire the result you put all the karmas as the duty you are doing for me and all the result also you surrender to me so it is not meaning that you will not do the duties with whole attentiveness no you do the duty with whole attentiveness will whole mind and whole intellect with all the capacity and all the performance and all the goodness but you do the duties and stand in the sakshi you see you see all the karmas you see all the functions you see all these things then what will be happen then your all hopes will be disappear when you will not have any type of desires any type of result oriented karmas and when there is no result orientation karmas then you will not caught in the worried or in the worried about the what will be result or what will be for us after effect of the karma so they will they will not create inside of you unpleasantness unstability unstability or unpeacefulness so this is the technique when you are not aware you surrender your all the karmas in the feet of the master and do the karma with all attention with the whole uh, with the whole capacity and with uh, like the meditation when you do the karmas as the meditation and when you do the karma not for you but no, for me then your possessiveness your attachment will be go away when they will be go away then you can see everything different from you and then you will see that the karmas are not in you the karmas are doing by the physical body or the mental body and the karmas in doing on the platform of the maya in you their karmas is not you are not doer and you are not involving in any karmas because the sensory organs mind intellect mood and ego these are involved in this karmas and then you will see the sensory organs mind intellect mood and you ego they are not your part they are the part of the maya and you are completely separate for them from them so my dear Ar arjun when you do like this then you will detach from these sensory organs mind intellect mood and ego then you will be break this sheath you will be come out from this jail so my dear arjun when you do not know your internal existence or internal god because now the internal existence internal god that is only gossip for you that is only hypothesis for you for you that is only word for you you have no experience you have not knowing but you knows me i am standing in front of you so you put your all consciousness in me and in my directions and in my being and you do the continuous your karmas with the with my love and support of my support of my divine love feelings so my dear friend then you will experience 
that the, the, all the karmas of this world, they will not create any type of the fever or any type of the sorrow or any type of regrets inside of you. And the, all the sorrow and the, all pain, they will not come by the karmas and you will be free from the pains, sorrows, dilemmas, doubts, tensions and every type of negativity and any type of positivity also not bound you because the negativity and the positivity both are you are surrendering in my feet in my feet so my dear friend without any desire without any result orientation you live in the place and do the karmas then when after some time you will be used to this type of life that you will become a spring of the place and you will become a ocean of the peace. So my dear friend, in this way you fight internal side and you fight outernal side both and you fight for the Sadhguru, not for you. You surrender all your things all your being, all your appearance in the feet of Sadhguru. Bhagavan Sadhguru, Sri Krishna, giving the directions and the teachings to the Arjuna. If you want to do these karmas like this, then you feel that all karmas you are doing for the Atma Jnana, for the service of the Master, for the service of the existence. When you surrender these karmas in the feet, then automatically inside of you the complete detachment will occur or sannyas will occur. Then your consciousness will be flow outside to inside then your consciousness will be free from sensory organs. Then your consciousness will be united, which is divided in many, many subjects of the world. Then your consciousness will flow to the center of existence. Then outer side maya making you a unconscious and inner side your avidya is making you unconsciousness. So then you can be easily free from outer side maya and inner side avidya. So my dear friend, when you become a seer, you become a drashta, you become a sakshi, then you can break the sheath of this uh, jail of maya which is covering you with these type of sensory organs, mind, intellect, mood and ego type coverings. Then my dear friend, your energy will be saved, which is flowing outside. So your consciousness, when the turn inside, then you will be start the journey for the jnana, for the enlightenment, that is the jnana marga, that is the way of enlightenment. That is the way of knowing. When you will see the inner side, since when you will become the seer, when you become the sakshi of your inner side since, then you can day to day aware, then the karmas department and the gunas department they will never bound you and you, you have nothing to possessiveness or ownership or lovingness with the karmas department and gunas department and then your attachment completely finish. So my dear Arjun, at that time in you, the actual adhyatma, the actual spirituality will be appear and will be exposed, will be come with the glory of all divinity. So my dear friend, 
You see, they are looking, but they are not being. You see, they are looking, but they are not being. And you are not looking, but you are being. So then, all the secret of the magic of the Maya will open in front of you. The send will remain send. The butter of misunderstanding in send that will be go. So my dear friend, then you will be not running unnecessary. You will be stand. When as your all dilemmas, all misunderstanding, they will be go away. Then all the fear will go away. And you will become a fearless person. And you will become a pleasant person. So in this world, whenever you do not know exactly existence inside, then you do this practice and then you will know the exactly ex existence inside and that is the stage of the knowing that is the jnana avastha so my dear friend the krishna is teaching to the arjuna not only arjuna but whole the seekers and lovers of the this world when you will live like that then you will be become the sorrowless and then you believe every hope of this world that this world can give you peace. No, this world cannot give you peace. You cannot search the fire any cool thing. Fire is every, everywhere hot. So my dear friend, when you detach from the false hopes and the dilemmas and the misunderstanding forever then you will become the free from ever my dear friend arjun nabhavo vidyate asata that is not present because the untrue things is not presence they are only looks like a uh, misunderstanding or miss they are looks like a, a mesmerism so why are you hoping a good or goodness hoping goodness from these worldly things this is only the symptom of the high class foolish person my dear friend when you live like then you will leave the hope from everything of this world then you will be uh, you will be free from the possessiveness or mamata and you have no asha, you have no hope, you have no mamtan, you have no attachment, you have no mamat, it means you have no ownership. And the result is that the knowing capacity or the knowing power of existence that is called the pragya that will come. And the warning capacity of the maya that will be eradicate so that hot temperature like a fever that will be go away and all the burning furnaces of the maya they will be automatically shut down they will be become the cool and all the diseases of the maya all the misunderstanding of the maya all the misbehave of the maya all the possessiveness of the maya all the slavery of the Maya that will be finished forever, that will be eradicated forever, and the Maya will not give any benefit, full effect on you. So, my dear Arjun, you come on this Jnana Marga, you come this the path of the knowing, and you try to see me in an in, in internal stage, that is, I am your internal existence, but when you do not can see you see me in your atma you see me in your existence i am as well presence in outside i i am as well presence in inside too but you can inside know me and outside i am seeing and that is also some overlapping of the maya that can be misguide you so i am giving you instruction you see inside me by the meditation of awareness sakshi and never leave any karma you do every karma you do every duty i am with you 
I will help you every time, everywhere. You will be complete this uh, journey very nicely. I will always welfare you. I will always support you. So you do this battle of internal side and external side with the, without any effect of the Maya, with all the peacefulness, with all the place and will, with all the successfulness. I am giving you guarantee you will be success in this journey of enlightenment. My dear friend, that why the secret meaning of this stanza, which is Krishna, teach to the Arjuna. Now in the end of the discourse, I am telling to most of person of you, they will not believe in the enlightenment or Atma Jnana or self-realization. And they, they do not feel the self-realization's need in their life. They feel that what a hypothetical things, but don't worry. I know what you need. Your need is good physical health. Your need is good mental health. You need a balance of emotional stage. That's all things will give you by this Sakshi meditation of awareness. My dear friend, I want to say, if you do this meditation only five months, four or five months, that, that, that there will be your own experience that you will be feel that comparatively before the meditation and after five months you will feel you are becoming tensionless, worried less. You will feel that the peace is coming inside of you and when you will become the tensionless, when you will become the worried less, there is no question that you will caught in the tension created diseases like the blood pressure, heart attack, angina and uh, many many type of diseases they are comes by the tension, headache, organ failure, blood clotting in the mind, many many diseases. And when you do this meditation of awareness, Sakshi, then you will be aware. Then you can identify by the smelling or the color or the position that food is not eatable, that, that uh, drink is not drinkable. So you can save infections also in your body. They will not come. So what a precious benefit of this meditation. You will be saved from the tension created diseases. You will be prevented from the tension, tension created diseases. You will never go to the hospital for operation, diagnosis, pathology of many, many other expenditure. Yours will be uh, safe and you will be prevented from unnecessary pains. Second thing is that when you do this meditation, your observation will become very keen. And now you can see the phobia, every phobic condition. And the phobia cannot come to you. You will not caught in the phobia. Then what will be happen? The phobia, the mean mania, the schizophrenia, the half mind uh, and uh, the madness, the depression, the suicide, every mental diseases will not come in your life. So you are guaranteedly by this meditation, physically and mentally both sides is strong and healthy. And third thing is that when you do this meditation continuously, then you have a power, you have a capacity, you have a keen observation, you have a a special quality to detach from anger. The anger will come and goes, but anger will not affect on you. So you will be save yourself from all the crime, all the violence, or the cutting, killing, murders, etc. Then you will not go in the police station. Then you will not go in the jails or court trials. So what a good life of you that society will respect you. You will become a, a good person, a great person in the society. And second thing is that when you do this meditation, you can easily see the grit. And you never caught in the grit like you are not, never caught in the anger. So you will not involve in any type of economic crime, robbery, robbery, black marketing, hawala, 
commission, conspiracy, you will not involve. So you will become a very, very honest and very, very faithful person of the society and that honesty will not come from outside, that come from inner side, that is not imposed morality, that is originated morality from yourself. So that is very strong morality that cannot be changed. Third thing is that, my dear, when you do this meditation, you can easily detach from the lust. And you can detach from the lust, you will never involve in any type crime against women or crime against men. You will never involve in any type of abusing any person or, or any type of sex crime or any type of rape or kidnap. So my dear friend, by this three-dimensional, physically, mentally and emotionally, we will make a strong, loving and very nice person because there is no lust, there is love. There is love, there is no ego. There is no ego, there is awareness. So my dear friend, when the all great men's verdict will be true for you, the love is God. That love will come. That, come, that love comes direct from the God. That is the divine love. There is not lust. So my dear friend, this type of loving, honorable, honest, morally strong, physically strong, mentally strong person, they will be increased in the family. Then the families will become like a blossom flower. Families will become brotherhood, affection, cooperation, peaceful family. So my dear, this type of family will make a very good society. And the very good society makes very good nation. And very good nations, they will be make a very good mother earth. And they can solve every dispute on the negotiation table. They will never involve in any type of crime. The crime is the bar. The crime is attack. The crime is the experiment of neutron bomb, hydrogen bomb. Because your all experiments, your all wars, your all weapons is increasing the global warming. And you are going to worst the suicide on this earth because the global warming will be come out of limit then you will be not survive on this earth all the glaciers will be melt all the ocean they will be hike and they will be sink your all cities of this world so i am i am requesting all of you please stop this nonsense of the bar and that Nonsense only when you stop, then you will be do the meditation of awareness. So there will be no any bar, there will be no need of huge expenditure on the armies. We can have only one peacemaking army. And that's why we can save lot of money. Lot of we can cut lot of expenditure. And that all money will be accumulated and that money will be used in the welfare of the Mother Earth. We can give the shelter, cloth, food, medicine, education for the weaker sections or the poor nations. So when our all world, our all planet will become a one family and only we have the one peacemaking army for the devils and rascals. They are cutting and killing innocent persons in the name of hypothetical principles of their mind. So my dear friend, from ancient time, the demons and rascals, they are present on the earth. For the time of the Rama, there were the Ravana and Rakshasas. For the time of the Krishna, there were the Korva, Jarasandha, Shichupal, etc. So my dear friend, I want to say, that if you want to make this earth a peaceful, loving brotherhood, so you, you, you please help me to spread this meditation all over the world. And our mission is world peace by meditation. And our meditation is non-religious, non-prejudice. No any differentiation, caste, creed, nationality, black and white, child and young and old, there is no differentiation. So we can 
accept this meditation without any hesitation, without any limitation, and without any prejudiceness. Please, I want to inform you that we have performed the four meditation camps already in Delhi, international meditation camps. And now we are going to organize a international meditation camp on 24 July 2016, Delhi, Noida. And after it, we will be organize a a representation of meditation in New Jersey 13 November 2016 and 17 November 2016 there will be whole day meditation camp in the Mayagwe Puerto Rico and 19 and 20 there will be a very good seminar on positive parenting this meditation herbal food and medicines, yoga and positive hypnotism. That was the subject of this seminar. On 22 November there will be a meditation camp for holiday in the capital city of the Puerto Rico, St. John. And on 25 November there will be a full day meditation camp in the New York very near to Times Square, New York. I am very grateful to people of Puerto Rico and government of the Puerto Rico, people of United States America and government of United States America and especially I am very very grateful to my disciples in uh, Puerto Rico and New Jersey and New York. So my dear friend, please I am giving you invitation, please join all these programs and please join our mission, World Peace by Meditation. And you can organize uh, camps in your cities or your village or your provinces. I will come there. I do not ask any money. I do not ask any fees. I do not ask any gift. I do not ask anything. I only want to service of the mankind for the world peace. I only want then you arrange my journey and arrange my food that is sufficient for me. Please subscribe my channel on YouTube. Thank you very much. Love you very much. We are one love. We are one love.